Okay, so talk to us about uh, working with worship teams. You've uh-huh. been on staff. You're now you serve as a volunteer in a church. Yeah. Um, how how do you, how does that relationship work from the booth to the stage? You know, uh, as a staff member or with other staff members, staff member with volunteers, volunteer to a staff member, et cetera, sure. et cetera. I, I chuckle because I think you all know. I mean, you know, there's there's natural tensions. Um, uh, there's a physical tension and a physical barrier. You're at the back of the, um, you're, you know, most of the time, unless right. you're running monitors, we're in the back of the room. We're not physically connected. So the first thing I try and do, um, so at, at the church I volunteer at now, we have um, a Tuesday rehearsal. So the first thing I do, I, I'm there before people. So I, I get my I get my stuff set up. I try and make sure that I'm not, when they start arriving, I'm not focused on having to sit behind a console and get all my stuff set up and ready. I can come up on stage while they're plugging in. Hey, hey you're new. Shake their hand. Say, hey, I'm JB. I'm running front of house. Or, you know, after you do it for a while, it's usually the same players. Yeah. You you form a relationship with those those people. So it's not, it's not an us and them relationship. The first time they're seeing me is me standing here on stage with them. Are they, are they getting what they need? Do you, Hey, can I help just to be helpful? Uh, at the end of the day, if this, if that relationship is not, is not good, it just causes tension that uh, sadly I've been at enough organizations. That I think people can feel, I mean, we can obviously feel it. the people on stage, the people running any production uh, equipment, but the people actually in the audience, I think, can start to feel that as well. So I think forming a personal relationship with these people, sometimes you don't get along with, and you don't get along with everybody, but you still have to form a relationship. You still have to be on some kind of speaking terms. That's yeah. that, that's a, the biggest part of that. Bu- that building equity goes a long way when you have to have a difficult conversation, say, hey man, the way that snare is presenting out here in the room, it's just not working for what we're feeling. Can, can we work on it? Can we tweak it? Hey, your, your guitar tone, yeah. uh, you know, whatever. Do you have talkback mics for everybody? I'll ask that before Not I everybody. So, uh, we typically do, our permanents have a, a drum, and then we have one other MD. So, But front of house does. Yes. That, that would be my other thing. Is It's a tendency. It's like you need something really fast to just yell, because especially when you're this close. But at the end of the day, that, that tends to cause... Because even if you don't mean it, you're yelling because you have to get the volume up. And yeah, it volume can be misinterpreted. Immediate, immediately can cause some stresses. So using a mic, talking into their ears, talking to their monitors, um, anything that can reduce stress and make everybody get along. That's Hi, first priority. this is your audio engineer. <laughs> I'll be guiding you through sound check today. You, you laugh, but I know plenty of monitor engineers that start it that exact way. Wow. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, right? <laughs> I want reports back tomorrow, guys. How'd that Indeed. go for you?